guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 7. Today we're going to be talking about something very interesting to do with the pilot episode and what was originally cut out, because we have some photos that show some extended scenes, some deleted scenes, and generally some different descriptions about what was supposed to happen in The Flash's original pilot episode so if you do go on to enjoy the video please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year okay so Supergo is on later tonight we're gonna have my video out later tomorrow it's not gonna come out straight away currently right now I'm really busy that's why I haven't been able to upload daily however we're going to be back to daily on Thursday but for now you can click here to check out my latest video that was about Supergirl's new episode which is coming out the week after tonight. Okay, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this. So I'm going to leave the link in the description below to the website where I got this from. You can check it out after the video if you want. Okay, so this is comparing the TV version which we have all seen and the pre-air version. They released some photos on the website, you can go check them out. However, we're going to pop up a few of them on the screen as we talk about it. So it goes chronologically throughout the episode and what was deleted. And so as you guys know, recently we did do some videos on, you know, the cancel stuff. Basically the stuff that didn't go through in the end. But that was more of a storyline thing. This is actual footage stuff. So this is stuff they filmed and stuff they cut out, right? So this is actual alternate scenes to what we saw in that episode. Okay, so let's go. So right at the start of the episode, we have an alternate shot of the Allen house. The houses themselves are different as well. So there is a different location in the TV version. The house is entirely dark. Then two small flushes follow. And in the pre-air version, that meaning the one that we never saw, the lights are on in the hall and the living room. And also the house is really lit. So it generally looks very different and it doesn't look as dark and dim as the first one. You know, the original one that we've seen in the pilot episode that we have all seen. So, I mean, I think they made a good choice here. And going for this more gloomy kind of night. Because that is the feeling that you get when the characters talk about this night. Okay, so let's move on to the next scene. And like I said, there is like alternate scenes that are a tiny bit longer and a tiny bit shorter. And so there was a longer shot in the TV version when Barry is running up the street as a kid right before we go to the past when it goes to today. So I'm sure all of you guys remember Barry running up the street once he's been sped away by original timeline flash. And also on top of this, apparently the opening credits are in the TV version and the other version that never aired didn't have any. I mean, that's just a minor change. They probably didn't have them prepared. However, let's continue on from this. And so there is a longer scene with Joe and his partner. So I believe his partner dies. That is the reason for kind of his hatred against Weather Wizard in the first place. And so you see what's going on and it's like a longer scene. And you get to see in these photos that are up on the screen right here. It's just like alternate stuff that we never saw. And there's just like some extra dialogue focusing more on Joe and his partner than there was in the original pilot episode. Okay, so let's move on from this. So there is an alternate exterior shot of the precincts. So you can see Central City Police Department looks really different, right? Like this stuff looks completely different. So they were testing out what location they would use and obviously it's just like an exterior so they shoot that then they you know use multiple iterations of that but you can see on the bottom right here that this is literally just them panning the camera up and it's pretty much the same day i mean the sky looks the same so that is just like an alternate version of the shot we saw in the tv show and then this other one is completely different like central city looks completely different it looks like more like a la police station or something I don't know, that's just kind of my impression of the architecture. However, it is very, very different. Okay, so let's move on from this. Another major difference is when Barry is struck by lightning and he goes to the hospital, you see a close-up on his chest, and so you can actually see the lightning bolt that struck him, and it looks pretty much like a lightning bolt, and this wasn't included in the new version. However, I mean, this is pretty cool, and I would have liked to see this because... I mean, it is very significant, like, I guess you could compare it to, like, Harry Potter's scar or something, 
but they didn't go ahead with this and you know there is no scar in the end but yeah this was just like an extended scene and they show like different iterations of it okay so this is super interesting now let's move on to this so the flash logo right you can see on the screen right here this is the normal flash logo that they originally went for obviously in the pilot episode and they pretty much stuck with it for most of the time however at first they had a very different flash logo and it looked like this now this is really really funny i don't know it's just cool but it's also not like the best logo it feels like they made it in like a couple of minutes or something but then the new one is like really good so yeah i really like this comparison that you get to see this is what they originally were going for and then now they went for something so much better and much more refined and I'm really happy we didn't get that flash logo that you see on the screen right here because I don't know it just looks a bit rushed anyway I just thought that was very interesting to have a side-by-side -side comparison okay so we get an exterior shot of a bank the pre-air version shows Martin aka weather wizard like 1.0 walking around in the bank and versions are back in sync with Martin grabs a pen and fills out a transfer form and so basically it's just like an extended exterior shot okay let's move on from this now we go to when Barry is testing out his speed with Star Labs obviously Caitlin's there also Harrison Wells and in the TV version you only really had this wide shot over here in the pre-air version it is different and how is it different well there is now dialogue between Caitlin and Wells in the pre-air version and in the TV version, this conversation isn't seen. This is seen, you know, in voiceover, just over that wide shot. So let's move on from that. You get alternate footage in this exterior shot of the precinct in the TV version. And the pre-air version only showed an aerial shot of Central City. So they just cut in with some extra B-roll that they had. Okay, so in the pre-air version, also Thorn approaches the witness with a cell phone and this was seen in the official cut it's just an alternate take from what we got okay so let's continue onwards with this we have Barry as he gets out of the car and you see weather wizard approaching him and so in this additional scene Barry and Marden they fight and I'm pretty sure this was in the trailer they released when they first released the first flash season one trailer that is just me. I feel like I really recognize this and it looks very familiar. So I know it's just an additional scene and it's quite similar to other shots. Talking of crossovers, if you watch my last video, which you guys can check out, that's up on the channel right now. Arrow in the TV version had a much shorter scene than what they got in the pre-air version. So it was edited down. And so there is a longer dialogue between Barry and Green Arrow, AKA Oliver Queen on the rooftop in Starling City that is one of the most iconic scenes from the pilot I'm sure you guys all remember this and so the last part Barry comments I screw up and then dialogue continues on from that and Barry says a few things about like what if Wells was right and what if I'm not a hero and then basically it syncs up at some point however in the pre-air version they had a lot of different other shots and it kind of cuts back and forth and that's what's happened and that is like the main difference right there okay so let's continue from this and you just had like multiple iterations of various shots of Marden using his powers and this is also interesting because in this alternate footage what they've done obviously is they've just composited an image that they recorded and they just switched the image over and also they changed the graphics but you can tell the shot is exactly the same, so it's 100% them adding in this afterwards. They didn't film this or anything, like they just filmed the character and the setting, and then they just edited it in a different way. And so, once again, the Flash logo comes back up and it's a different way of animating it. And in the original version, in the pre-air version, it kind of whooshes onto the screen, like from the background up until it gets to the Flash logo. So. Yeah, very, very cool. All right, so that is pretty much it for most of this. Obviously, there is a few other ones. I just went over the most important ones rather than just the tiny ones. Like, occasionally, I talked about a tiny one here and there. However, I think the biggest thing is, like, the Flash logo showing the difference and also 
getting like the longer scenes of Green Arrow and Barry, the close up of Barry's chest with him having a natural lightning bolt across of it, and also like the different versions of Central City Police Department, and also how Barry's house looked in the original version. It looked very different. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any videos. Also remember tomorrow my Supergirl review is coming out. Sorry that it's not coming out tonight, but be on the lookout for that. But for now, I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.